Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. We still have a few more stars, no moons, that's the one, to get in the Sand Kingdom. So let's start off by jumping right off of the pyramid. All the way to this Sphinx over here. Hello, Mr. Sphinx. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What does the thieving monster desire from this land? A ring. You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a rid riddle. Anyway, anywho, pr proceed. We can also get asked more questions though. Have you not been asked enough questions yet? Let us see how you do with this one. The one who gallops across the, la the sand, how many coins are required to get on his back? <laughs> like a billion. 30. Hmm, yes, correct. You are a formidable one. If you require questions, I have another. See if you can answer a third time. The foreign visitor traveling by car, what stopped his journey? Ice. Well now, three correct answers. Well done, Traveller. I have been saving this one. Answer me this. Atop the inverted pyramid, how many statues are of the of the sand gallopers are there? I think it's five. Because there would be six, but one of them left. That's correct, but... Did you really know that? There were six, but one is gone, leaving five. Hmm, did you guess? You guessed, didn't you? You're a guesser! Persistent. Very well. It is time for the real test. This will be your final question, and no guessing. What is my name? <laughs> Quiz Kitty! Suffix Wizard. Mr. Question Face. It's, it's Sphinx. You, you got them all right. Everyone fails eventually, I suppose. Well done, take this. And we get Sand Quiz Wonderful. I have no more questions for you. So there we go, and also in this small room that he had is a bunch of coins and another Power Moon. Power Moons really do seem to go in pairs, don't they? Anyway. Let's see, what should I do next? There are still quite a few things. So, uh, let me see. There's the slingshot over here that gets you back up to the thing. Just here. But we don't need to go in there, so I'm going to head back if I can. We flew really far. And I didn't know that existed there previously, so I tried to get into the pyramid by jumping off the top and getting in that way. But anyway, there's this hole here now, which is where the head was, because that was the boss that we fought. And now we can actually use that as a way of getting in here. It's also this little enemy here that we can get. Who gives us a bunch of coins once we start off. We probably want to kill him, because when we actually use his attack, we actually use coins. I don't want to waste coins, so... But anyway, these things here, these mummies, if we can kill enough of them and get enough to spawn, it's best just to jump repeatedly so you can kill them in one hit. Oh my goodness, don't kill me, please. Um, but if we can get enough of them to spawn in... If we can get enough of these... Please. <gasps> Don't kill me, please. Please get them. Please get them. Oh, that was close. Come on. Can I not kill them with Cappy? I'm sure I can kill them with Cappy. Okay, come on. This should be working. Oh, I died and I was upside down? Oh, because I'm... I wonder if that's because I'm wearing this specific suit and it's a classic Mario, Mario Bros. outfit. 
Ow. If I can kill enough of these, eventually, if I don't die, eventually... Oh my goodness. I don't normally have this much trouble with this, and I don't know why I'm struggling with it now. It might actually be worth getting the enemy so I can spend coins just to kill these mummies. I'm sure I can just dodge them. And I, f I have to get the rest to spawn in somehow. But I feel like they're only spawning in that area. Oh, no, here we go. This one's shining, so let's kill this one. Guess I just had to look for it. Oh, please die. Thank you. And he has a power moon for us. So let's grab that. Under the mummy's curse. I can definitely understand that. Anyway, I believe this pipe over here will let us get out of here, so let's do that. And not deal with these things anymore. The slingshot there is just to get you back up to the top part of that area. Now, let me think. I believe there are actually some coins up this pillar, if I remember correctly. I just know everything in this game, and it's scary sometimes. It's also this here that has a power moon underneath it, but we can't get that just at the moment. So let's head over this way, since there's more stuff to do at this building over here. And starting off, if I can go over this way, I can actually get on top of it quickly. Um, if I can get on top, there's a timer challenge here for us. I'm just going to let that money bounce away. So, let's get up there, and we can't use Cappy. And we also have limited time, so we need to roll through this. And let's just get up here and grab the moon. And even once the timer challenge has ended, as long as the moon is still slightly visible, you can still collect it. So, yeah, you have time. You can also throw the cap Cappy onto the Scarecrow and then uh, jump on top of the Scarecrow, or jump on top of Cappy to get Cappy back and reset, basically. In ca case you don't want to just... If you, if you mess up something and you want to reset the timer, you can do that. Okay. That should be everything over here, so let's, let's, uh, call the Jaxi. And let's go to that, um, cactus, because cactuses won't stand a chance against the Jaxi. There they go. Oh, and the moon's actually in the cactus as well, so you don't have to move the cactus out of the way and then ground pound, it's just move the, get rid of the cactus. Okay, how are we doing on power moons right now? 54 out of 69, and we also have almost all of the purple coins as well, so... Uh, if I can, I don't think there's anything else on top of these pillars, hopefully. So let's actually... Oh! Not do that. Let's, um... Yeah, let's not do that. Let's not fall off the edge like that. Let's go over this way. And let's go off this edge over here. Into this little secret area. So, in this secret area there are invisible platforms, but I also know where they are, so... <laughs> I can probably do this without the help thing. There's also this secret moon here that you can get by uh, spinning Cappy on the poison sign. The transparent maze. Oh, that's a good sign. The blocks are kind of in a, a squarish grid, so you can kind of know where they are. Based on where everything else is in the room. Oh, this one might be a little bit more difficult. Here, let me... Okay, cool. I know everything now, in the entire game. Okay, um, there's a power moon over there. And I think I can have to jump there, and then jump from there to there. Very nice. And now I can just head over to the pipe. <laughs> I could actually go look at what the actual floor things are. But why would I want to do that? Anyway, let's go to this... Uh, the habitat, because there's also another power moon there. Okay, so, if we go over this way, 
it's possibly worth taking one of these guys for this. I've done it before without one of them, so... Uh, but when we press on this P-switch, make some platforms appear, and we need to get to that key, which unlocks a power star, and now we need to get back to the power star before the time runs out and win without, without falling into the poison goop. So there we go. That should be everything over here. There's also a switch over there that if you activate makes a bridge appear, and I could go get that, but I also have to actually get there to do that. Guess if I use the Jaxi, I could get there very quickly, but I can also just walk there, and I believe the last purple coins I need are actually along the edge over this way as well. I am crazy about what I know about video games sometimes. I'm scared. Because I just, I just know where everything is when I need to get it. So, I I can't remember where exactly it is along here, but I know it's along here somewhere. Okay, where are you, purple coins? There you are. And there we go, that's all 100 purple coins in the Sand Kingdom. Now let's just head way over this way and get that, um, that switch flipped so we can head over to that side, except we don't need to, it's just a shortcut that we can make if we ever needed it. Which I doubt. But, I think I've never actually used this bridge before, just because you can just teleport over there anyway, and the chances of you being on this side of the bridge to try and get across is very low. Unless, you, I guess, you need to go from that side to this side, but I, I still doubt that as well. Anyway, I think we're getting close to all of the power moons we can actually get currently at the moment. That seems a bit redundant. Maybe I should stop being redundant. Let's go ahead and do a few things while we're here still. First of all, this plant is probably finished growing now. So let's get that. If I can, thank you. I wish you could collect moons with Cappy, instead of having to walk into it with Mario. That's something I liked about the Super Mario Odyssey, Odyssey mod for Super Mario 64. Okay. So, let's buy everything in here. I'm going to start from the back if I can, just because that makes things easier. But anyway, the, um... The souvenirs are these two things at the back here. Each kingdom has souvenirs. There's also stickers for each kingdom that will be put onto the Odyssey. And also, some more outfits. We don't need this cowboy outfit. So that should go maybe later, so we don't change into it straight away. Um, and also... We also have this one over here. This outfit, which matches their, the these guys. I don't know what they're called. But they match the town's look, so... Let's put those on. And now, I believe, we can actually do something with them. Which is surprising. But, let's go over this way. And... This guy over here has something for us. Dress like us, party like us. That's the way... That's what we say, anyway. So, snappy hat, check. Snazzy poncho, double check. Ah, uh, you are ready to party. Go head inside. So if we're wearing this full costume, we can go in here. You dance, and you dance, and you dance. Dancing with new friends, and it hurts the way that those symbols come out of Mario, because that's not what treble clefs are. <laughs> Tre treble clefs aren't a note. I'm sorry to tell you this. Oh my goodness. Anyway, uh, I think if I go to the parrot now, he might have either nothing to say to me or something to say to me, depending on how much I've actually cleaned up in this kingdom already. There's also this radio thing here. And if we hit it... Has a little Bowser thing for it. Top of a dune. Okay, I can do that one. 
Walking the desert, right? I almost, I almost forgot about that one. And that's it. Those are the last two moons that we can possibly get at the moment. So, let's go get the first one, which is kind of obvious. And I'm surprised I didn't, didn't actually remember this one, because this one is kind of an easy one to get. And I usually get it at the same time I get the dog, dog one. But there's just one here that you can get by ground paying on the top of this mount. Now, the other one is over towards the poison swamp. And we did kind of see it from a little way away, but we can actually go to it now. So, way over this way is a Koopa Trooper for us to talk to. Hey dude, you up for a challenge? Everyone loves walking, right? Problem is, most don't take it seriously. That's what trace walking is all about. If you can walk like a champ, you'll win a prize. Wanna try? Sounds fun. Sweet. The rules are cake. Just walk around and follow the arrows on the ground. Here's the fun part though. The arrows disappear after a bit. You gotta score 80 points or more to win. Let's go. That'll do, let's see. You needed 80 points or more to win? Think you got it done? You scored... 100 points! That walk was serious business. Boom! This power moon is yours. I didn't even need to practice that. I just remembered, like, you need to be right here when you get past this bush and you need to be right... No, wait, was it the other way around? I can't remember. It's, it's the certain positions that you have to be around the bushes around the place. But I'm amazed I did that well the, on the first try. Anyway, especially because I can't even remember which way I'm supposed to do it now. But anyway, there's a few things we could do here, like one thing. But anyway, also I forgot to talk to the amiibo thing. Hey, you're back. Back from looking friends. Sorry, out of hints for this kingdom. That was such a waste. I should have remembered that. Also, there's an X on the map, which I think is telling me where I need to go for the next part of the story. But anyway, need 16 more moons. The Odyssey has powered up. And now that we have enough for an extra part of the sail, we can go to another kingdom. But uh-oh, we've hit a proverbial uh, fork in the road. Which kingdom do you think Bowser went to? We can go to the Lake Kingdom or the Wooded Kingdom. We will eventually have to go to both, but we have to pick which one to go to first. So let's pick Lake Kingdom. The Lake Kingdom, a splendid idea. But I actually want to quickly... Uh, I guess I should actually go to the Lake Kingdom. He kidnapped Tiara, and now this with this binding band, he's got a wedded a wedding ring. Is he going to steal a whole wedding? Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Gonna skip over that. Well, there it is. Next up, next let's uh, next read up on the Lake Kingdom. It says they're known for their fashion, and oh, there's a famous wedding gown. They they're called uh, the Lock Lady Dress.
Brutals Over the Lake. This is actually a very small king kingdom compared to the uh, last one. The Brutals, they're here too. So I'm gonna head into the Odyssey, but not the way that you think I would normally. Because I want to change my outfit back to normal. We can also see the souvenirs that we bought from the Sand Kingdom. So here's the Jaxi, and here's the Inverted Pyramid. Can I actually stand on this? Oh, I can bounce off of it. That seems safe. Anyway, let's change. Probably back to the regular Mario outfit. Here we go. There's also another way of getting into the Odyssey as well. So I'm going to quickly do that since I'm here. And if I head up here, you right, might recognize this, this familiar mark from Super Mario Odyssey, no, Galaxy, which if you, it's the, the ground pound marker. So for ground pound on it, that also takes us into the Odyssey. It's cool that those are there, but they don't serve any real purpose overall. Anyway, let's get started on the Lake Kingdom. I, I didn't think I was going to get all of those moons in the previous kingdom, and not even that fast either. But I did, and now, for something kind of amazing. You're not supposed to be able to get up here yet. Wow, great jump. We kind of skipped an entire section of the level that they want you to do before even getting over here. So let's hit that, and let's go down here into this painting. Which is a shortcut to the Sand Kingdom again. Not that we're going to stay here because we've already got everything here. Also, we've also got one moon here now, according to the top of our screen. But if we go back through the painting... We no longer have it. Because each kingdom's moons have to be put into the Odyssey in their own kingdom. So we'll we'll put that in eventually. But for now, I just recommend leaving it as it is, so. Let's get this. Oh, I should probably have grabbed that so it spawns in some more coins. Let's grab this moon over here. And I'm guessing I can't do what I'm thinking of right now. No, okay, <laughs> cool. That's all I needed to know to actually know that I wasn't able to do that yet. Uh, I might also go back to the Odyssey so I can do this the normal way. Since I kind of skipped a bit. So, the way you're supposed to do it if you don't actually know how to do that very good jump. Uh, my goodness, that, bow <laughs> that monster's minions just stomped in here uninvited. And they stole our kingdom's finest lock lady dress. It's a tragedy. That really is so sad. Anyway, let's collect some moons. <laughs> There's also this here for us, so let's... Grab all of these that I can. I'll go fast. I need to go faster than that. It is under a time limit. Grab all those. And there's another moon for us. We're grabbing pink moons in this level. I forgot to mention the previous level. Uh, each kingdom has its own colored moon. <laughs> We've already seen four now. We've seen the regular yellow ones from the... Um, what's it called? The Cascade Kingdom in Fossil Falls. And then we saw the green ones in the Sand Kingdom. We've also seen a brown one over by the... Uh, in the the teleport port thing painting to the other other place the new donk city can i get this please thank you pixel cat mari gives us coins uh and now we're seeing pink ones in the in the the lake kingdom but anyway let's keep looking around and i also forgot to mention oh my goodness i like to point out the cool things in this game we can capture the zip and unzip things. It's so cool. It's so cool. Why did I not mention that before? I don't know. Anyway. So this is the actual way we need to go. So let's now 
go under the water here. We can collect bubbles for air. We also need to get these purple coins over here because they're kind of out of the way and easy to forget. There's only 50 purple coins to collect in this level. So obviously it's a shortish level. We also need to not step on those spikes there. Can I collect air with Cappy? I can. That's interesting. Now I believe if I go this way... There's a treasure chest over here for us. So let's open that and get another moon. We're going to have enough moons in such a short amount of time soon. There's also some uh, kelp enemies over here that are really creepy. Very creepy. We, we can take them out quickly, but they're still really creepy. But anyway, there's the flag that we got we could get to by going through that whole thing or taking the shortcut. We've also got cheap sheeps here which have infinite air so we can just go around the place without having to worry about air. Okay, we also want to grab the moons that are around here, probably. Cheap sheep crossing. Uh, if we shake though, we can also do a spin attack around us, so that's also useful if we have enemies that we need to take out. Dory back rider. Dory is back from Super Mario 64, I guess. Dory as a species. You can also collect things with your spin attack as well. Now, where are the rest of these moon fragment things? Or pieces of moon? Ah, uh, that didn't have anything. If there is a thing that is sparkling that you can't ground pound because of not having a ground pound as a fish, you can actually just spin as well. Um, there's a few more of those moon pieces around that I can get if I can actually figure out where. Also, I believe if I spin here, it's another moon as well. On oh, the shadow of the Plessy as well, that's great. Or Nessie. Wow, good find. From the broken pillar. Gonna grab all pain. Also, I, f uh, I seem to be forgetting things. I don't know what's wrong with me right now. Uh, if we press B, we go up. If we press Y, we go down. Oh, wow. That was a cool circle motion, I guess. Now, where are the rest of these things that I need? There's one. There should be one other one left, which I think I know where it is. So let's see if I can go get that now. Ooh, get away from me. I think I might have already forgotten something, but I also think that it's just something I can't do yet. So anyway, there's all those pieces of the moon. We also can't stay out of water as a fish for very long. There we go. Let's grab that. And let's head straight down from here. We can't go do this as Mario because it's too far down. But we can get down pretty quickly as a as a cheap cheap, so. Good thinking, no air needed. Get all the way down here. Don't think there's anything else in this little cave, but there is. Captain Toad. How did you get down here, Captain Toad? I have no idea. Mario, fancy meeting you here. That's right, it's me, Captain Toad. I'm traveling the world looking for power moons. Swimming with this backpack is tough. I don't even know how I got- I made it here. It's probably just so heavy that you just sank all the way to the bottom in like two seconds. Oh, but I discovered this power moon. Here, you can have it. You also don't need to breathe because in your games you don't have to breathe anyway. In, in the underwater levels. It's so quiet here. I wonder how I'll get home. You won't. There's also a pipe there, by the way. Just in case you didn't notice it. Here's the parrot for this level. He'll only tell you about moons from the level you're currently in. Also back here. Ah, you found me. Very clever. You can have this as a reward. Ah, secret little room. Let's keep this place our little secret. Okay, I'm gonna leave now. 
Also, I love this because this is an elevator. It's a water elevator. Isn't that cool? So this is where the dress was displayed. There was a lovely lock lady dress in this window, display window. But that monster came and stole it. He stole our kingdom's greatest treasure. How rude. Now, if I can just quickly get those coins. We can also hold onto a ledge fairly well, like in Super Mario Sunshine. And uh, there's a little secret here, which I'm not sure if you can see. I'm not sure if I can, if I, I can see it. But it's a pretty cool secret, if you know what you're looking for. And I will actually go over that later, though. So, for now, let's just head right out again into the water, because there's still a few more things for us to collect. Just quickly. I would like to actually get to the, um, the actual boss, though, so I can unlock a few more things in this level. Because not everything's going to be unlocked until we do that. Okay, so let's grab these coins. Now, where do I need to go again? <laughs> I can't rem rem remember. Actually, yes I can. I don't know what's cra why I'm crazy. I'm just crazy. Anyway, I want to just quickly grab a cheap cheap if I can. Cheap cheap, you are cheap. If I can take this cheap cheap up here and jump into this little hole. Here fishy fishy. Oh, you're not gonna... Are you not gonna? No, you're not. Okay. I can't stand that monster's vile henchmen. They stole our beloved lock lady dress. That's something for later. Never mind. I'm crazy. But for now, let's head down here. You can get up to the roof through that shaft. So let's follow this coin trail. Obviously not a trap. And let's go up. So there we go, and let's quickly hit this P-switch because it's going to be very useful. So we can just get up here without having to do go the, the long way, which isn't that long, but it's still annoying. Anyway, there's also this smoon in this box here. I love the way that Power Moons look. I just want a physical Power Moon. Like, even if it's not that big, just want a physical Power Moon to touch. <laughs> Is that weird? I don't know if that's weird. Anyway, let's unzip this for some purple coins. And I believe I can actually just skip up here, like that. What's in the box? And now, before doing anything else, let's go over to the boss. Okay. You're too late. We already got the lock lady dress. And, e and it even matches the boss's tuxedo, so no way we're giving it back. It's time for a different boss now. We need to hit his hat, which has a, uh, a spin flower in it. And we can just spin up to his head. And now for this tough part. We can dodge his attacks, but also if we do it right, which I'm not going to be able to do, if we bounce on his hat while he's doing that attack, you can actually get him to stop quickly. Uh, but I, I failed at that, apparently. But we just need to hit him three times, so we should be, we should be alright. We can just go around in circles somewhat. There we go. Give me a thing, thank you. And goodbye. But anyway, I'm worried about those two. Let's get after them. We can, but there's still more moons to get in this level, and we'll probably do that next time. So thank you all for watching, 
I'll see you all next time.